children. Is three years preserved. So, so more preserved the better, especially mm -hmm. in this colony. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. See. Wow, Olivia, you stole Mark. Don't you feel cold? I I already wear the heavy coat. Oh no, it's all right. It's warm in here, and my coat also keeps me warm. Well, but do you know that um, wearing little in such a cold weather is very harmful for girls. I think it's a cultural thing because I think uh, I saw also uh, Chinese girls. They are they are avoiding drink uh, cold water during their period. Well, it could lead to stomach ache, menstruation problem, and even infertility. Really? Actually, I agree with uh, Li Yi. Uh, the uterine cold is a very common syndrome in Chinese medicine. You know, cold is a uh, like common cause of disease in traditional Chinese medicine. It is uh, always caused by being attacked. Uh, um, by the cold evil in nature, or taking cold drink and the food, then the cold stagnates in the channels and the collaterals or in vis or viscerals, so it causes diseases. Actually, most of these are excess cold. There is another kind of uh, cold called deficiency cold, caused by the deficiency of uh, spleen and uh, kidney. Then. It fails in transporting the dampness and the cold. It also exists in the visceral and the meridians, including the uterus. And Shen Chue belongs to the conception vessel. It connects the 12 meridians and the, the visceral. It is the meeting point of heart and kidney system. So what if the cold is already invaded, Professor? Oh, don't worry. Uh, so I can do moxibustion on you today. Okay. So the moxaliu pertains to yang in nature. Doing moxibustion can warm the channels and dispel the coldness, and also activate blood and also relieve the pains. Mm. Besides, actually, uh, doing moxibustion can also improve our healthy qi. Uh, in modern medicine, we say to boost the immunity. Besides, people will feel mentally and physically relaxed after moxibustion. Oh, the belly bottom is so important. I will go back and put on long coat. <laughs> 